Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going hiking. I'm going to be hiking the Magnetic Rock Trail which starts right behind me. So in order to get to the Magnetic Rock Hiking Trail, what you do is you go to Grand Marais, Minnesota. Then you start driving down the Gunflint Trail which is a long road that comes all the way up here into the North Woods. You'll drive about an hour on the Gunflint Trail, and then on the right side of the road, there's going to be a parking, small parking area um, where you can park your car. You don't need a permit or a pass or anything. Once you've parked your car, you can go ahead and hike. I would allot two to three hours for this activity. Um, longer if you know that you take a lot of time while you're hiking and stop to take a lot of photos. If you're coming in the summer, make sure to bring bug spray. If you're coming in the winter, make sure to bring crampons, those metal spikes for the bottom of your shoes. It'll keep you from slipping a little bit better. Um, and you can buy those at a lot of places up here in Grand Marie and on the Gunflint Trail. I know that Gunflint Lodge um, does have some currently, so if you forget to pack some, make sure to stop in there and see if they still have some when you're here. So the Magnetic Rock Trail is about three miles round trip and that's as long as you don't get lost. Some people end up accidentally going down the border route trail, so be aware. The area is also pretty unique in that all of the trees are very small here. This is the area, part of the area where the Ham Lake fire came through in 2007. And so you can see that a lot of the growth is still very small. It's just gorgeous. The Magnetic Rock Hiking Trail appeals to me specifically because I like the kind of hiking trails that have a destination and something at the end that you can kind of look forward to and that is the rock on this hiking trail. However, this is not the kind of hiking trail that you just wanna stick your head to the ground and get to the end as soon as possible. A lot of the magic on this trail is on these little side spurts. Make sure you slow yourself down so you get to see all of the views that this trail has to offer. Maybe you'll even see a moose. So this trail is also a great place for wildlife viewing. I have seen a bear and a moose on this trail before and I just passed some people who said that they saw a moose in this area yesterday and that somebody else had said that they saw a moose, a bull moose on this um, trail, not walking down the trail, but off to the side at one of the overlook areas that I'll show you when we get to um, just yesterday. So that'd be kind of awesome if I saw a moose today. We'll see. There's a grouse right there. We are finally here. We made it to the rock. There she is. In all her glory.
So I'm not good at guessing how tall things are, but I would say this rock is at least a few stories tall. And it looks, if you look at the rocks around the base of it, it kind of looks like the rock fell from the sky. So I like to joke and say that the aliens put it here. There are people who say that the rock was moved here by glaciers a long time ago. But it definitely looks, with all this debris down here, like it fell from the sky. So this rock is called Magnetic Rock, and it's because it actually is magnetic. Um, I guess there's iron in the rock. And so I brought a magnet here. This is from the back of a name tag from work. And you can see it definitely sticks. The rock is in fact magnetic. Also, you can bring a compass out here if you come out and it will throw your compass off. I just have this little tiny compass. Um, but you can see it's definitely not accurate. And it won't even stop spinning. So it's pointing north in the direction that is actually almost directly south. And if I go to this side of the rock, I was kind of walking around the rock to see what would happen with the compass. If you go to this side, it says that the rock is north. And right now it's saying that way is north. When I was on the other side of the rock, it was saying that way is north. So you can see that the magnetic um, rock definitely will mess up a compass, but you have to have the compass fairly close to the rock in order for that to happen. Bye bye magnetic rock. It's been so nice. It's a great day out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and support my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. There are three moose right there. Can you see one, two, and three? They are looking up at me right now. They're pretty far away. But I am a little bit intimidated because I have to walk pretty close to there to get down to my car. And to be honest, I'm a little afraid of moose. But that's pretty awesome. They can definitely hear me talking. They all stopped and looked up at me. Thank you.